All right, there is that. Goodness. Ah, goodness. Okay. So there's that. That's the zoom in. I believe that should be fine now. Yes, we're fine now. Okay, and I'll only grab one more thing, and I'm ready to stream. It is back! It is working appropriately. Alright. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and continue where we left off. I don't really know if I want to go directly for a temple or not. Um, I don't know if we're gonna beat a temple today. We can, but I kind of want to explore the world. You know how long it's been since I could actually like explored a older Zelda world? Oh, there we fix go. It, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, well, it's fix it! Fix it, fix it, fix it! Well, it's been fixed. Okay, but yeah, let's go this way. Also, I need to find, uh... Oh, you know, you know who I need to find, chat? I need to find the, uh... What is it? The boomerang guys, uh, not the boomerang. The, uh, the guy's, um, blacksmith's brother. That's what, that's why I need to find. I need to find his brother. Also, I got the ice rod I totally forgot about, but, yeah. That is the ice rod, which we got last night, right before I got off the line, if I remember correctly. I fucking love the silly ass Pegasus boots or whatever you call them in this game. Is that what you call them? Nah, I can't go down there. Got it. Whatever. Anyways, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Yeah, let's go see what's over here. I can. Jesus, dude. Why does he gotta be so fucking fast? Bodied. There we go. You know, funny enough, one of the, uh, oh, is that a bomb? Oh. Okay. Oh, so it's like a temporary bomb. Huh. That's interesting. I didn't know if you could even get those in this game. Probably should you get just from, like, brick bumping into trees that I genuinely did not know about. And I already have a fairy in a bottle, so there's no point. Not this game being super easy. Which is funny, because I don't think this game is super easy. I think it's reasonable. I feel like it's not super difficult without being too without being too easy as well. Which that's kinda how I feel about Tears of the Kingdom. I feel like Tears of the Kingdom. Huh. So I need to learn how to play some type of flute or something in here. But I don't even know if you get an ocarina or a flute or anything in this game. I don't know, I'll have to, I'll have to keep this uh, keep this in mind. This game came out when I was born. I'm pretty sure this was uh, this game came out quite a bit before I was born. Uh, when did when did uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past? Uh, oh, by the way, if I didn't say welcome in, Izzy, welcome in. Um, I love this music. See, that's the one thing. Music and truly well-done art never ages. And like this, this game right now, just as good as the day it released. Genuinely. Like, I fucking love this. Just walking into somewhere. Maybe it might be less impressive overall, but it's no less amazing or enthralling. Oh, what's up? Give me 20 rupees and I'll let you open one chest. You keep what is inside. Open a chest. Refund! I can't reopen one. The game is over. Damn. Okay. So is this just for gaining rupees? Gambling! We win. You can't open any more chests. The game is over. Okay. I kind of want to see what the options are. Like, how much can I win by? Or how much can I lose? Because I got 20 on the first one, and then 50 on the second one. And 20 on the next one. Okay, so yeah. 
I'm going to assume it's going to either be 20, 50, and then a lot, or it's going to be 20, 50, and then, like, very little. I kind of want to go in just in case, because, like, what if there's an item in here? Because, you know, older Zelda game, hiding an item inside of a minigame area, it's classic Zelda. Okay, it's not. Good. Good. So it's either one rupee, or you're in, you're in you know, you lost rupees. You either uh, lose 19, break even, or you gain 30. I think that's fair. That's pretty. That's pretty reasonable. What? Yeah, Link. Now I'm quarreling with my younger brother. I sealed the door to his room. Edgy gamer goes to his inventory, brings out the bombs. <clears throat> My bad. <laughs> My bad. Fuck you and your brother and your mama. Don't care. Hey, Link, did you come from my older brother's room? Is he still angry? <laughs> he might be. I don't know. He could be. He could be. I don't know. Move it, Grandma. If you can reach the goal in 15 seconds, we will give you something good. Ready, set, go. Where's the goal? Fuck. This try, your time was 0 minutes and 11 seconds. You qualified. Congratulations, I present you with a piece of heart. That qualified? Do you know how ass I was at that parkour? Are you kidding me? D no. No, a 6-year-old would get lost as fuck in this game. Hell no, Devin. I think I did actually go the correct path. I don't think you can squeeze. No, you can squeeze by this tree. Okay, so there's multiple. I probably did go the fastest path on accident. Because you know, chat, I am built different after all. I am literally him, so. <laughs> if you have enough time to read this sign, you should go to the goal immediately. That's kind of funny. That is pretty funny. I don't know, Zelda, Zelda games usually have a bunch of, like, weird-ass mini-games and weird-ass characters. Something I can really appreciate. So much so that apparently I took a picture for some fucking reason. What? There's like a- there's like a thing over here. What thing is over here? Or am I, like, misreading the map? Oh yeah, I'm definitely misreading the map. I'm thinking that what it shows is more than it actually is. Did you go to the big ass grove yet? Um, I have not. Are you talking about the one with the master sword? No, yeah, I've not. I've not went there. I've only went basically to. Oh, what is this? Right now, I'm checking out the town's places because I have so much money that why not, right? Oh, I know what to do here. Yep. Hold up. Ha ha ha! Big brain moment. You found the Book of Medora. You can use it to read the ancient language of the Hylia. Yup. You guys wish you were as big brained as me. We've discovered how to read. I wonder how integral that is. Either way, pretty happy I got the uh, Pegasus boots. Honestly, one of my favorite items from uh, old from uh, this game. Something about just running in place and then just hauling ass across the area is just very fucking entertaining. Bumble, bumble. bumble. My son really liked to play the flute, but he went to look for the golden power and has not returned. I wonder where he, where he is and what he is doing now. I think I saw your son. He was playing the flute in the forest. But I don't have a flute. Whoa! I saw her! A very nice young lady at the waterfall of wishing in the hills where the river begins. Link, you should meet her! At least once, I'm sure you'll like her. But, but like, why? Also, how do I get up there? What? I have to figure out how to get up there. I don't... I actually don't know. Do I have to go through, like, in the side of the building, then? Oh, there's a back door. That's fair. I never... 
You know, that's actually kind of funny. Like, you wouldn't think to go from, like, the back side of a, uh, a building in, like, these type of games. So I can appreciate... I'm sorry, Kuko. I did not mean to hit you. <gasps> Is that another magic bottle? Yes. Yes. The most powerful item in any Zelda game. The bottle. You can literally fight Ganondorf with that. Come on now. Imagine Gandorf charges up a Warlock Punch. Dare I say a reverse Warlock Punch. And you pull out Link's ultimate weapon. The bottle. I know. I know. Unheard of power. All right. Hey, here's Link, the wanted man. Soldiers, anyone, come quickly. Bitch, you're lucky it's Link and not Edgy Gamer because, uh, oof. <laughs> Also, um, doesn't mean you guys are going to get the clips anytime soon, but I did just start watching my, uh, what is it, my Jedi Survivor playthrough, and, uh, with that, I've, uh, really been enjoying it. Like, I forgot how good of a game Jedi Survivor was. How many of you guys have actually played it? I think Izzy has, and I know, uh, Golden Swordsman has. Um, did you ever beat that game, Devin? Jedi Survivor. Yeah. I think you should beat it. The ending is actually fantastic. But yeah, I actually have uh, been watching it and I actually just got to, uh, I believe it's like Jedi and I'm getting all that stuff done. And man, it is so good. So good. Also, I love the different stances and everything in that game. I've played it and beat it, yes. It's kind of funny because I've, uh, what is it? With me rewatching my playthrough and everything, um, everybody in my chat keeps complaining about the drip that I keep giving Cal. Because they're like, it's awful drip, it's awful drip! And the funny thing is, is nobody agrees. Literally nobody. Like, nobody's happy, everyone's angry. All the time. And it's, it's kind of funny, because, like, at the point of the playthrough where I'm at, I'm like, no, nobody's happy but me. And that's so, because my character is dressed in, like, this, uh, this very interestingly strange-looking outfit. And, uh, I'm all about it. And then, like, everybody else is like, oh, this is terrible! And I f I'm just, like, loving it. My lost partner returns. We can temper your sword, but now I can't do anything for you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm supposed to go to this guy's, uh... I'm supposed to come back to this guy because of this cave, right? Right? No. No, not this cave. There's another cave somewhere. Um, none of his outfits look good. What? What are you talking about? He has so many outfits that look good. If you've got bad taste, just say it, my guy. Like, you don't want to be dressed up like Devin. You want to get bitches while saving the galaxy. He's a he's a newer style Jedi. Not the not the fucking re not a Republic bitch. All right. Can I break this? Holy shit, you can? That's pretty cool. That I did not know you could do. I'm assuming you need a hammer for that. And I've not unlocked the hammer time move quite yet. Isn't there like a store somewhere around here? Dude, I've been playing Final Fantasy XV along with my Final Fantasy X playthrough and damn 15 has made me cry like a lot. Prompto's backstory is sad, Luna Freya's death may ball my eyes out, but I mean, there's gotta be more. Um, yeah, I would say Final Fantasy XV. If you really like the characters, it's gonna, it will definitely make you sad. Especially because, like, the whole, that game is the characters. Like, I'd say sub games have more scope than the characters, like, even, like, Survivor. There's more going on than just, like, the characters, but F Final Fantasy XV... The story is like, yes, there's stuff, there is more going on, but like all of the high points of like the, like everything going on 
is 100% of the characters, like, you know? Like, it's not like Final Fantasy 16 where it's like, HOLY SHIT! THIS IS CRAZY! And, like, you don't even need to give a shit about the characters for you to be popping the fuck off. Um, but, like, 15 really, really depends on its characters for its story. And, uh, it does a great job. Like, at least with, if, you, if you care about the characters, it does. If you don't care about the characters, then it really falls flat on its face. But it, it, does, a, it does a great job if you do care about the characters. Which I do. I do. I just know that some people don't. Like, I believe Devin did not really care about the characters. And I've met a couple of people that did not care too much about the characters. But it just, uh, that just depends on the, you know, the, the people playing. Also, Cup Noodles. Yeah. The Cup Noodles helmet is pretty funny. Yeah, the final, I do actually really like the f characters in Final Fantasy XV. I feel like Final Fantasy XV has some of the most uh, lively characters out of uh, any uh, Final Fantasy game, in my opinion. So, the only, uh, there's very, the only thing I really ever have an issue with with 15 is what's missing. Like, I love what's there, but I do all, I do, I do always wish there was more, you know? Like, uh, I don't know. But I guess if the main complaint is you wish there was more, then that's not really too much of a bad thing. Like, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I think the characters especially, that's that's what really got me to like uh, Final Fantasy XV. Like, you know, when I think Final Fan like, when I think about the Final Fantasies, Final Fantasy III really garnered my attention because it was, like, super old. So it was, like, a lot of these really old tropes that weren't tropes back then. They were just, you know... They were cool new ideas, and so it's funny to play a game where it's like, oh, the main character, he's a white-haired orphan, and he's really good with magic. We've never seen anything like this before in our lives. Follows every single fantasy game ever afterwards. <laughs> um... I'm actually looking for a place to buy arrows, if you must know, Izzy. Because there's a cave around here that I wanted to go get uh, arrows for. But I might actually head to Death Mountain, because I feel like the... Uh... Oh, that was a great fairy fountain. Um, I feel like... What is it? Um... Yeah, I'll go up this way. I feel like the, uh, the blacksmith's brother is going to be somewhere near the mountain. Um, anyways, yeah, like, F Final Fantasy 3, I fell in love with that because the tropes, like, they weren't tropes yet, so it's kind of hilarious in that regard, but it's still, like, you know, interesting enough. Um, and then Final Fantasy uh, 4 garnered my attention because of how badass-looking the main character was. That sounds like a really simple reason, but, you know, that's why it garnered my attention. The first main character is a is immediately in fucking Dragoon armor. Are you gonna tell me that's not fuck fucking badass? No, it's been that- Devin, I've not played it since I was like seven. It's been a long time. Um, and then Final Fantasy 13, I fell in love with it for the, uh, well first, most of it, but the gameplay really grabbed my attention. Um, 15 really grabbed my attention because of the the main characters, they're, they're, uh, what is it? They're, um, the way their character, uh, personalities blended together for the team, I thought was really well. Even if it wasn't the most fleshed out thing in the world, I liked it, even just like in a casual enjoyment kind of way. Um, like, the whole game does such a good job of making you feel like you're chilling out with bros. And then Final Fantasy VII, I fell in love with it, or it's, uh... Ah, uh, what is it? Wackiness. Like, Final Fantasy VII is wacky as hell. Like, it's a weird-ass game. Like, there is nothing in there that's, like... Like, most of that game is weird. Like, most of it. And that's not a problem. Like, that is never a problem. 
I'd, I'd say it's a good thing. But it's just, uh, yeah, that that one game my, gr grabbed my attention for its wackiness, whether it be the enemies or the, uh, you know, some of the character interactions or other stuff going on. And then um, Final Fantasy 16 garnered my attention with its grand scale. Its scale is absolutely unreal. Like, it's just, it's just grand. Like, insanely so. And I, uh, it's, I just love that about it. Like, there's most things that happen inside of Final Fantasy 16 feel important. No matter how small the objective, they feel important. Down to the last minute side quest. And it, that's just, that's crazy. The House of Lumberjacks, A, Bumpkin, and B, Bumpkin. <laughs> um, the only thing is that it's not turn-based. It was so interesting to get, get used to a surprise, to be sure, but a welcome on my ONW. I don't think 6 is your all-time favorite. I want a fantasy game where the pro tag doesn't use magic and just beats the shit out of stuff with a frying pan. OG Final Fantasy one stream win. I don't even have that game. I don't want Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Rebirth is your favorite. Tactics Advanced is your second favorite. Final Fantasy XIII was the gameplay. Final Fantasy VI was the villain. Seven was the environment. Fifteen is just because of the characters. And Final Fantasy X because it feels like a beach game. I don't know how to explain it. I've never played Final Fantasy XVI. I don't have a PS4 or PS5, so I can't. Got a PS3 and Xbox Series D or S. Um, well, I will say 16, Bruce Lee. Uh, man, it is... I won't spoil it, but my god. It's fucking crazy good. Crazy good. Final Fantasy 16 is one of my favorites of all time. Let's see here, because I've played... Let me find a little paper to write that down. Because I've played... Uh, well, I can't write on that, damn it. Hold up. I've played three, four, seven, thirteen... 14, 16, 15, and then 7 Remake, and then 13, 2, and then L, Lightning Returns. So if I were to rank them off the ones like I've played and everything, I would probably put, um, oh, I don't know, man. I love the pacing of 13. I have to, I might, I might be super cringe and put 13 at top. That, that might be copium, but like, I don't know, that whole game makes me so emotional. It's gotta be 13 or 16 are my favorite. That's a hard call, you know? That's a really hard call. So I think I, I'll put... Just because of the grandness of everything, I'll put 16 at the top. I'll put 16 at the top. I'll put, uh, 13 under it. And then 7 remake. And then under that... I'll put, um, uh, let's see here. Ooh, I don't know, man. Lightning Returns is really good. I think I might do, I might do Lightning Returns, then 7, then 15, and then, um, uh, 3, Four and 13, 2 at the bottom. It's not that I think, uh, or sorry, oh, I forgot about 14. I'll put 14 above 13, 2. So yeah. So if I were to rank them from like favorite to least favorite, granted, I love all the games, so that's fine. My favorite ever is 16, then second is 13, then third favorite is 7 Remastered, fourth favorite, Lightning Returns, fifth favorite, 7. And then we have 15 at number 6, 3 at number 7, 4. Um, at number 8, 14 at number 9, and 13, 2 at number 10. And mind you, even at the bottom, 13, 10, and 14, I don't think they're bad. Um, I think 13, 2 has, uh, does, I don't like Soul, uh, Noel or Sarah as much, even though I like them, like, I like the idea. I just feel like they don't, like, work nearly as well as, like, other, uh, characters or other themes and stuff do. And then, um... Then there's a lot of, like, backtracking and, like, pointless stuff they have go on in that game for, like, padding. And it's really short overall as well. Um, 
And then 14, it's an MMO, so it's really difficult for me to really get invested, just because of the type of game it is. Maybe it's nothing, but this tree feels kind of strange as we cut it. Yo, Link! A mysterious fog has recently fallen over the forest! We have to be careful! What the hell? Oh, I can't bump into that one. I'm on this side. Maybe you have to do it like three times or so. Nope, okay, cool. So I can't go into that. Um, let's see here. I have every Final Fantasy game in my collection, I just don't have some of the consoles. 10 or 15 are the very top of my list. 13 is good, but it wasn't better than 10 or 15. And see, and that's that's okay. Because like that's the that's the whole point of them making such different games and everything. Because different games are gonna speak to different people by far. Like, even though like, you know, 15 was like a big moment for me as like a gamer, like it's gonna mean a lot more for someone else out there, and I think that's awesome. Like it it was bi it was big for me, obviously. I put it at number what? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's at number six out of ten. So, like, you know, that's pretty... That's already, like... I may not be in the top five, but that's up there. Obviously. Um, there's re uh, better than six, but not by a long shot. It feels like a Big Bang Theory, like, exploiting people's favorite characters and their family and spinoffs for money and not focusing on anyone else. That's what it feels like. Uh, I meant by Final Fantasy XIII, too, by the way. Oh, yeah. Death Mountain. I'm at Death Mountain, and I literally can't even go on Death Mountain, so... I literally can't go that way, Izzy. I don't know what to tell you. We just went to Death Mountain, and I can't go up it. So, moving on! Moving on. I'd like to buy some arrows, but... Oh, alright. What's in here? What the hell? Oh, nice! Piece of heart! Cool. Well, that was at least nice. Get a little piece of heart. Go talk to Saharsafafafa. Why would I ever talk to Saharsafafa? Why would I ever use the flimsim defer? The flimsim defer. I need to rewatch Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Goaded movie. Goaded movie. Whee! Body. Damn. Caught my ass lacking. Oh, nice, I got arrows. Good. He shall guide thee. Where are you, Sahasafasafa? Move it, Octorox. You wish you were goaded like me, but you don't have the sauce, nor are you a goat. Alright. Once we get to Shaharsara, we will eventually understand what it is the Sahasifisa, Sassafras, wants us to do. I can farm those archers for arrows. Well, there's a cave somewhere on this map that has nothing but, like, uh, like, enemies to kill with arrows, and I just don't remember where it was at. We found it last stream, but... I don't remember where bro was at. Other relatives of the wise men are hiding from the evil wizard's fall- Or, sorry. I don't remember what type of voice I did for him. Oh, whatever. Are hiding from the evil wizard's followers? You should find them! It's hard to remember voices when I- There's so many characters. <laughs> And you have to read all of them. It'd be different if I was doing, like, Final Fantasy VII with the main character and stuff. But, like, you know. I've yet to really decide. Like, thankfully, Final Fantasy VII, I was able to remember most people's voices. Most. Open the map. Ah, uh, I'll, I'll go there in a second. The cave I went to was somewhere around here. On the right side of the map. That's okay. I already know where to go and what we kind of need to do. I just need to go in a direction that would be productive. That's all.
Um, did we go over here to this side? I actually don't remember if we did or not. Yeah, one of three. I do. It's, e it's either the Death Mountain or the Desert. Don't worry. Don't worry. You guys gotta realize, this is basically a blind playthrough. Which one am I doing first? I don't know. Chat, this is a blind playthrough. I'm literally just playing the game. I'm just figuring it out. You guys, back in the day, you were not given as much direction. So you know what you did? You explored. Like Tears of the Kingdom. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm exploring. Well, somebody's liking my reels, I guess. Nice. How did that spell fairy? I need to see if I'm mad or not. Oh, fairy. It's spelt like Fay Re. I mean, I guess so. People are really liking my reels. What reels are they liking? Sorry, Chad, I'm being nosy. I want to know what I, what on my what on my streams is getting so much traction. Like you guys gotta realize, my reel, my like videos on Instagram get like no views and no traction. All my views for my shorts for me as a uh, streamer all get put on a uh, TikTok, which is where the most <gasps> or YouTube. Which my most viewed video ever is still a TikTok video. Which is, uh, I think, 64,000 views? Which is insane, first off, for someone of my league. That, that's fucking crazy. But that's alright. I mean, if it's a fan... Like, if if it is one person who really loves my content, content on Instagram, then hell yeah, man. I mean, that's the whole point of me, like, putting it on Instagram and uh, TikTok and YouTube is so everybody can see it. So I keep taking pictures, man. I'm going to have to stop doing that. At some point, that's going to have to stop. It's time to stop. Man, they really like my reels. All right. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to pay no attention to it because when I go to some people's stuff, I watch, like, one after the other, and I'm like, this shit's hilarious. Or, you know, I see, like, fan art or stuff that's, like, really good. And I'll go down the list and, like, you know, like multiple things. So just because someone does that to me, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it's weird just because someone else enjoys my stuff, you know? It's kind of a dick move. Damn, y'all can drop arrows for me? That's kind of toxic. Yeah, chat, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. What the hell is in here? Oh, it's a, it's a shop. Nice. Not very useful, but nice! Nice, nice. That's right, bitch. Believe for your life! Crab. That's a Zora. What's in here? Hmm, you look like you might have an interesting destiny. May I tell you a fortune? Sure. Abracadabra, Alakazam! You will open a desert lock with the Book of Medora! Now we'll take 15 rupees. Oh, okay, cool. Funny enough, I actually have that book, so we're going to the desert! To this desert we go! This is not the desert. That's a bomb! In the grass? I'm pretty sure it's illegal to have booby traps on your lawn. Oh no. I'm dying. Dude, my phone is going the fuck off. I mean, alright. Sure, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, 
now I have to find, let's see here, where's the map at? We need to go to the desert, which requires me to go down either there or behind me. So I'll probably go down. Uh oh. I'm at the fiends! Suck my iframes! I am the adventurer! That's okay. There we go. But yes, Izzy, that should answer your question. We shall be doing the desert first. It's a nice change of pace, because you're always doing deserts last. I don't think I can go this way. Okay, the other direction I go. And beyond. I love just zooming by people at fucking light speed. Shit is hilarious. Is this the cave that I wanted? Nope, this is the Great Fairy Cave. You know what? I'm gonna go in here just in case. Maybe it's a maybe it's a Great Fairy Cave with something other than healing properties. I will soothe your wounds and comfort your weariness. Close your eyes and relax. Damn, bitch didn't even give me mana? That sucks. Imagine going to a magical fairy and she doesn't even give you magic. That's crazy. Oh, this is like a cliff. I gotta be careful. I don't mind you just climb back up. Nice. I best be careful. Otherwise, I'll have to climb back up. Oh, no. So isn't there like a place to go into somewhere right here? Oops. How thick is this water? Uh, apparently too thick. Or too deep. Too thick. Some thick AF water. I wonder what is over here. Hello? Well, that's no way to open up a chest, no, is it? I think this is a temple of some kind. Is I don't think there's something for me to grab in here right now, is there? No. This is just like a dungeon for no reason. The hell? Hmm. Edgy, are you gay? Gladio specifically. Hum! What a tough question you have brought before me on this day. For I truly cannot answer. My thoughts as a human being. Being the straight finboy that I am, who loves lightning endlessly, and has also fallen for Tifa. Can I truthfully, absolutely, fucking lutely 10 out of 10, without hesitation, 40 times a day? Does that answer your question? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Okay, bro. Mario's kind of... Did you even say anything to me in Discord, Izzy? Because I have so many fucking Instagram messages that I've... I've not even... That's not Discord. We need me to check on Discord. What do you want me to check, Izzy? Oh, I mean, sure. If that's what you want to do. Fucking a lot of shit on my Instagram, I guess. Alright, whatever. What does this say? Pay no attention to the average middle-aged man standing by this sign. LEAVE HIM ALONE! Okay. Fine. Fine. Fuck you. Fuck you too, sign. Oh, it's a desert. Hello, vulture. Okay. Oh, those are bombs! Okay, well, I should have known that. 
Oh, what the fuck? We've just entered the desert. Off we go! Oh, a cave! Sanctuary! Maybe. Some metal ass stone stairs. What the hell? It sounded like I was stepping on metal stone. Oh, who the fuck are you? Aha! It is the Book of Medora. With it, you can read the language of the Hylia people. All right, Pam. <laughs> we did it. Fuck yeah, chat. That's what we've that's what we've done this stream. Gotten another heart container. Yes. We set out on an objective. Yeah. It kind of does. Does it was a confusing way of answering it, but it does answer it. He fell for it. Was it insta spam? What's what is insta spamming you with? Uh, insta spamming me with people liking my posts. So I mean, sure. It just says that my, my posts keep getting liked by uh, a bunch of people. Or like, I think two people, but a bunch of people, so. Yeah, that's all. Like I said, not a bad thing. It's just, it's strange to see so much of, but not a complaint. Just, I don't get a lot of traction on the, what the fuck does that mean? To open the way to go forward, make your make your wish here, and it will be granted. Please open the damn door. Please. Yay! We made it in. Oh, they can go on here, can't they? Oh, God. Hmm. This is off-putting. I don't even remember this dungeon, so this is gonna be interesting. Oh my God, that was a fucking harsh-ass laser. I wonder. Nope. <laughs> That's not how you break them. <laughs> Bro's dead ass ignoring me. Alright. Those ant lions that shoot Zora projectiles? Okay. This is this is already a more ridiculous dungeon than the uh, the first one. But to be fair, I think Sahasha Fatafa was uh, taking it easy on me, so that would make sense. Damn it, not the yeah, whatever. Oh, uh, whatever. I'll be one shot in that lever. Not the one-shot pot! Let's go, chat. Let's go. It's actually kind of just chill. You know, some games like this are just kind of chill, and I can appreciate that. Oh, hi, dude. You got a map. You got the map! You can use it to save your current position and the rest of the dungeon. Press X. So it's got three floors. We're on the bottom floor now, I think. Yeah, the bottom floor. Oh man, it's got a first floor and then a second floor. Okay, most of it's on the bottom floor and it looks like the second floor is gonna be like the last stretch before the boss. Yeah, it's gonna 
So it'll be mostly going from uh, bottom. Whew, the, it'll be mostly on the bottom floor. Not that big of a dungeon, at least from what I can tell. From what I can tell. But it seems these dungeons lack in size what they have with uh, interesting mechanics, so. I'm so sorry, I'm frigid right now. Oh my god, can I turn off my fan? My fan's like not even on high, I'm just cold as shit. For no goddamn reason. But yeah, I planned on playing this game for about an hour or so. Who's liking your post? Uh, I don't know. Two people, two people. I don't even, I don't even know if they follow me or not. They're just liking all my posts. What the hell is that noise? What the fuck is going on in here? Oh no, not the ant lion. Yes! <laughs> Not the the ice rod, truly the best option. I never thought I'll use an ice rod to kill them, but I'm assuming it does take a decent amount of magic, so. And there we go. Yeah. I'd rather not expend all the magic in the world doing this shit. The hell? Wait, this exits the cave. What do you mean this exits the cave? can't be right. There's no way I'm supposed to go that way, right? This is a, be a very out-of-whack dungeon. I mean, you know what? It's not like I really went anywhere here. Let me check this way real quick to see where this goes, and then I'll decide what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, we'll go that way then. Fuck. Why would there just be a... Yeah, why would there just be a fucking... That makes no sense. Why is that there? Why is this here? Why would there just be something that leads outside the dungeon, mid-dungeon? I feel like that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, because I can just go this way, like normal. So, like, what... Let's say, is there another one? Yeah, there's another one. So I need to go, I need to, go to the left side, I guess. Ah, the, le oh, the left side leads me to a... Oh, Jesus. A piece of heart. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Oh, no. It's a sand monster! It's Sandman from Spider-Man! I pray, open sesame! I'm sorry. Open sesame! I've got nothing. But it worked! That was for all you Spongebob fans out there. And for anyone curious, I did not spit in my hands. Absolutely the fuck not. Not like a goddamn barbarian. The Fimboy Barbarian. Be a conundrum. I'd want to be pretty all the time, but then I'd have to be a barbarian as well. Ow, what a bitch. A little bitch. A little bitch! <laughs> Screw you, antlion. The most of my fucking health. Yeah, no, no thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. Link! Link! There's eyes! Ah, a you must never fail to find all the treasures in each dungeon. Oh. We're safe. We're good. Oh, no.
Jesus, one of these has to be a switch. The odds of the very last one being the switch. Oh my god, that's fucking awesome. I can't open that though. Where would the key be? I need the compass is what I need. But where would the compass be? Either way, I'm gonna go ahead and head this way because this way looked like a way I could go. And there is the locked door that's on the other side that I could go to. So I might do that. I might go to the uh, the locked door on the left side. Actually, I don't know. This door's not locked, so I might I might stay over here. Yeah. Feels like a reasonable idea. Also, what does this do? I wonder. No. All right. All righty then. Whatever game, fuck you, I'm getting this heart piece and regen my goddamn health. You can't stop me! Oh, that does not give me hearts. Well, alrighty then. I, sta I stand before you, the dumbass that I was before the stream. I like scrolling through Insta because I either get anime shit, animals being weird, or Ben 10 stuff. But for some fucking reason, half naked woman will appear while I scroll because Insta is full of that shit. Yeah, that's what I tell people all the time. It's like, I usually like, I enjoy, you know, liking fan art and stuff on Instagram and things like that. No matter, but no matter what you follow, it tries to show you fucking random ass women. And it's like, I don't want to look at these goddamn women. I'm too busy playing video games. Be concerned about these random ass women. Come on now, game. It's a weirdly specific thing. Uh, this. Okay. That's fine. I'll grab one of the fairies. Real quick. Run on out. Take it. Take a hit of damage on the way out to, to destroy the purpose of ever coming in here. And now we're back to square one. Nice, nice. Um, then it goes back to funny ass animals. I don't want to see women, I want to see animals. Yeah, it's just, you know, all social media, no matter what platform you go on, there's going to end up being half-naked women on there at some point. So that's just, I just kind of, I just scroll past it really fast and just ignore it the best I can. Because, yeah, it's it's annoying and dumb, but I just, I, I do think it is kind of uh, weirdly unavoid, unavoidable. Damn. It's got fucking lasered twice! We found the compass! Oh. Oh. Oh, is this what I was hearing? Well, that was easy. Oh, nice, the big key! Bro, get bodied. This cave really, this dungeon is not really that hard. This is pretty, uh, pretty chillaxed. Oh my god, the purple uh, levers are stupid fast. Not Edgy Gamer doing the turn around to reset them real quick. Oh, 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 I can't remember exactly where. Also, I'm running out of magic, all because I want to use the ice rod. It's a new weapon! I wanted to try it out! You can't give me a new weapon and then not let me use a game. How can you be so cruel? Alright, what's the fancy schmancy weapon in this dungeon? Ah, the power gloves. You can feel strength in both hands. You can pick up and carry stones now. Bum, bum, bum. 
I have become the big strong. The biggest of strongs. Alright, chat. Now I can lift lift things the way I want Tifa to lift me. God damn it. Lift, Devin, what? You you obviously weren't watching the streams, Devin. We were doing a pull-up competition. Not a thigh lift competition. I don't even think that's a thing. I'm like 80% sure. You did. You said with her. I wouldn't. You came in here and you were like. You came in here. And, you came in here and you were like with her thighs. You literally came in here and were like with her thighs. Okay. Calm down, Devin. You're so angry. But you're not supposed to touch that one. Devin's on his period, Edgy. Leave him alone. I can't block it. Okay. I am dying to the floor. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. Bro, I died to the floor. That's insane. Oh, good thing I came packed with fairies. Boop, 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 boop. Give me out, give me out, give me out. The game's telling me to touch grass. It just might. I mean, I won't be streaming this game for too terribly long. I'll probably stream this game until we beat this dungeon, and then I'll probably switch up my games, and I might switch over to Plants vs. Zombies. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to stream, like, story games and non-story games um, to give myself a little bit of a lighter workload as far as, like, listening to streams. Um, just a little bit. I'll only be doing it, like, sometimes or part of the time, but I'll still, for the most part, be... Oh, no. Okay, okay. But I'll still, for the most part, be playing whatever the fuck I want. Remember, they, they, there may be hidden walls that don't have cracks. I'm pretty sure we've not run into any of those, so we're fine. Yeah, no, we're fine. Get me the fuck out of here! That looks so fucking weird, by the way. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, the, the shaky effect makes it look more natural, but goddamn, that looked weird as shit. Oh my god, do you fight the Helmosaur? No, that's a different battle. What the fuck is this? What the hell? Oh god. Did bro just go, Arr. 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 You know what? I'm gonna have to hit you with the with the bow and arrow here in a second. Oh, I have to hit them in the face. Okay, that's what it is. Damn. I got this chat. Oh, rocks are flying out when they go into the ground. I didn't even see that. Oh, Jesus. Hold up. This is 
dangerous You're doing it shit. wrong. Do it right. Oh, hold up, chat. <gasps> He's pulling his cock out. Real gamer hours. Holy shit, I'm alive. Oh, I nearly got pushed into that rock. Hold up. I'm alive. I'm still alive. Oh, that's... I could not. Bro, they covered the whole map with that. Am I playing Zelda or am I playing, playing goddamn Undertale Undyne <laughs> boss fight? Come on. That's okay. This is a difficult-ass boss. But to be fair, like, I, I, I have told people that, you know, I think that Link to the Past is one of the better ones. It also has a little bit of difficulty to it, so. That kind of goes along with exactly what I usually tell people, so. I got one! Come on. Don't be a bitch, fly to me. We did it! We did it! Why Dead Cells is the first game that came to mind. Edge you play Dead Cells. Holy shit. Do 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 We did it! You won the Pendant of Power! Your goal of finding three pendants is in sight! Go for the last one! <gasps> Ding! I can throw boulders now! Get out the way, Sahasafatafa! The real hero is in town. I kind of want to go up to the higher part of the desert to see what's up there. I just don't know how in the fuck you'd get up there. Oh no, what's in here? Very. That was a pretty cool boss fight. Very, uh, very reminiscent of, like, twin mold and stuff. Where the enemies, like, fly above you, etc., so... I can finally throw the bigger rocks! This game lets you bash Link's head into the wall. That is literally true. That is correct. Oh, fuck. I'm, I can lift those? That I did not know. Yeah, that I was unaware of. Okay, so. I'm actually going to go this way. Hell's in here. No. Yeah, we're gonna go find that one uh, dungeon that had the uh, the worms in it, and we're gonna go kill them. That's that's my next objective. There was a cave leading to the mountain. That I do remember. I do remember the the rock that I can lift leading to the mountain. That I very distinctly remember. Oh fuck! I need to go that way. All right. Hold up, hold up. I go down here. And then this way. Jump off here. Thanks, Crab. Appreciate that. You didn't have to, but you did. You really did. This is the cave I'm looking for? It is! Nice. 
nice. Fuck. I've been chat, we did it! Take some rupees, but don't tell anyone I gave them to you. Keep between us, okay? 300! 320 amp bombs? possible to end stream by getting the Master Sword? Eh? Eh? You know you want to. Oh, edgy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You robbed a man. Did I? I'm getting chased. Oh no. I just robbed a man blind. <laughs> and then immediately died! Hell yeah! Game over. Uh, from Sanctuary. Karma. How's that karma? I didn't rob him. He gave me the fucking money, bro. He literally just said... What? He literally was just like, oh, it's our little secret. Don't tell nobody. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Bet, fam. Bet. Omi just said, don't tell nobody. He didn't say you're not allowed to. Oh, you know what I think I just remembered? Let me go over this way. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. I just, my anxiety just shot up. I don't know why. You have max rupees. Yay! I know. I know. Pretty hype-tastic, if you ask me. Well, I have two items. I sadly can't really do much with the, uh... With the bow and arrow. But... The lifting I can traverse stuff with, so... That's at least nice. Let's see here. What is in the door? Aw, oh, I forgot how sweet you are. You gave me a sample. One of these. One of these. <laughs> Thank you. This is the medicine of life and magic. You can recover both. You're so sweet. I love the witches in this game. They're ador they're beyond adorable and sweet to me. I can't believe it. Thank you, witch lady. Double, double, toil and trouble. Fire burning cauldron bubble. Making mushroom view a brew I am. You tell them, old lady. You tell them. You make that mushroom brew. Can I go this way? I don't think I can move those. Waterfall of Wishing, huh? What the? Edgy Gamer, the Waterfall of Wishing? I wish I'd drown in it! <laughs> like, damn. Uh, ow! I forgot you fuckers did that! I just got electrocuted! Okay. The waterfall of Wishing is just around the corner! Oh my goodness, just around the corner? Okay, hold up, this is definitely a bobble wall. No? Really? Huh. Okay. Oh, like I was onto something there. Yeah, I got max rupees pretty fucking quickly, I won't lie. Thankfully, it seems like rupees are not that hard to find in this game. They seem pretty reasonably easy to find. Which works, I guess. Which works. Keeps you from having to farm for them a lot or anything like that. I know how, I know how annoying farming for shit can be in video games, so... Not having to farm for stuff is always appreciated. What the hell? 
Oh, fuck. God, there's so many Zora. See, I'm walking along the grass. Fuck you. <laughs> this is just territorial advantage. I don't want nothing to do with it. Shit. This is gonna be tragic, chat. We're on the hunt as we run through the water. Oh, come on, come on. The frames are actually kind of dropping, which is Kinda hilarious, to be honest with you. No way I went the wrong way. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I'm kinda dodging like a god right now, though. That is just a fact. This is tragic. This is actually kind of intense. I'm, I'm, I'm mildly loving it, to be honest with you. What? 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 <laughs> what do you want, little man? Do you have something to ask me? I want the flippers. <laughs> but I don't just give flippers away for free. I sell them for 500 rupees a pair. What do you do? <laughs> One pair of flippers coming up. I'll give you a free bonus with your purchase. I'll let you use the magic waterways of the sea folk, which link lakes and rivers. When you see a whirlpool, dive into it. You never know where you'll surface. Wahaha! <gasps> Ooh! This thing. Zora's Domain! It's stupidly easy to get rich in this game. Those things are Zora's, by the way. You're killing Sidon's people, and you did technically invade their home. Did I? Did I? I should be able to swim in even, even deeper water. Nice. So there's a lady near the beginning of the stream that I'll want to talk to. Where is she at, then? Is she, like, up here? Were they talking about the fish person? I don't know. <laughs> Either way, this is pretty cool. Oh, nice! Another piece of art. I kind of want to see what this way is. I feel like this way is going to have something. Did, did I not just say hello to your person? Why are you attacking me? Wait, is there something hidden behind one of these waterfalls? I don't know, I doubt there's anything hidden behind the waterfalls now that I really think about it. Oh boy. This is a little on the dangerous side for me. There we go. We got out of Zora's domain. I can actually swim over here now. Oh, I can definitely go in this. No fucking way! I saw what? A serious pond. Won't you throw something in? Select an item. Hello there, did you drop this? Yes, I did. I'll give this back to you then. Don't drop it again. Fuck! I did not mean to do that. Yes. Can I drop something else?
Are you sure this is not yours? To tell the truth, it is. I'll give this back to you then. Don't drop it again. Oh, okay. I have to, I have to lie to the bitch? What item do I want to drop and, like, leave out? I guess the ice rod then. I will just keep saying no. No, I didn't. Are you sure that, that this is not yours? Really, it isn't. Now, now, don't tell me a lie. Please take it back. She just gives it back regardless. <laughs> I can just keep throwing shit in. Whoop! I dropped my whole ass blade! Whoop, 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 whoop! I did. Don't drop it again. Da na na na! Huh. Maybe the flippers? Oh, nice. Maybe the flippers, because that's how I got in here. Maybe I could soft lock myself and have to end the playthrough. That'd be crazy. That would be insane. Just drop everything. Am I dumb? I might look this up real quick. Goodness, before I change. That's adorable. Let's see here. Link to the past. Mysterious pond. What's this for? Blind playthrough? Oh, okay. I mean, I'll put my phone back down. I didn't fully look up what it was. You think they had Google back then? Yeah. You know what? Now I'm going to Google when Google was invented. When was Google created? 1998. Okay. Nineteen ninety one and Google was nineteen ninety eight. <laughs> I mean I didn't look it up yet. Not yet. But I won't. Not yet. I just kinda wanted to uh don't do it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna call you out. Oh okay, well here, I'm looking it up now. Cause like I don't fucking know. I feel like this is... the hell is that? Oh, nice. I kind of wanted to look, I wanted to see, like... I don't know. Should I look it up? I was just throwing in the wrong items. Are you dead ass? Really? I was throwing in every item but the ones you're supposed to. That's crazy. I like an honest person. I will give you something better in return. So I was doing the right thing. I was just throwing the wrong shit. God damn it. See, that's that's why I looked it up. Because I was assuming this cave was pointless then. Like it was just like an Easter egg, like a meme for the lols. You got the magical boomer. Plus, I found the secret waterfall. <laughs> I think that's already difficult enough. The fact that I happened upon it. And I threw, like, four or five different items in, so, I mean, why not? You got the magical boomerang. You can throw this faster and further than the old one. Okay. That was the main one I looked up. I think the other one that I saw before I... Whoops. Okay. You've beaten this game before?
Did I see... Shield, I think? Maybe. I don't know. I know... The only one I know of was the boomerang. Well, here is he. The ones you can upgrade are the boomerang. I can also personally get sent better in return. Okay, so the, the boomerang, the shield, and what's the other What's the other one? Your shield is improved! Now you can defend yourself against fireballs! What's the other item you can upgrade in here? Maybe bombs. Fireball. Fireball! Fireball? I don't have fireball. What are you on about? What is blood on about? Boots? I don't know. Yeah. Come on, Izzy, you gotta help a bro out. I don't know what you're talking about. Did you drop this? Yes, I did. Thank you, fairy lady. I'm just gonna try everything until, uh... Until I go to leave. So I've tried... The sword, the shield, the flippers, the boots, the gauntlets next. I'm just gonna throw everything at her. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. How you doing? Could be better on my end. Brakes on my car. Decide to act up during my last DoorDash delivery yesterday. That is tragic to hear. Hopefully you get that settled soon so you don't have to be stressed about your brakes messing up or anything. I have thrown the bow in there 30 times. This bitch is going to pop back out the water, pull back, and let loose a war bow shot directly into my fucking forehead. She's going to unlock my third eye by shooting me in the damn forehead, chat. It's going to be insane. So boomerang, bomb, ice... R I tried the ice rod. Lantern, maybe. Oh, my goodness. Oh. This is also why I'm uh, switching up games here in a minute. I mean, this feels like a reasonable uh, finale. Accidentally finding a secret um, area like this bug net. I'm going to be calling my mechanic on Monday. I see if I, I can see me then or Thursday or Tuesday. I mean, that'd be preferable for sure. You don't want to get stranded or have your brakes fail you or anything like that. But yeah, man, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I've actually been getting a lot of progress done on a... Sorry, keyboard died. That's okay. I've been getting a lot of progress done on a Elden Ring. So I'm playing a lot of uh, that with uh, Dylan for a stream. And I've also been getting a shit ton of my streams uh, listened to. Like I said, I, uh, I've i already just, just recently finished, finished watching the entirety of my Jedi Fallen Order playthrough, which is several, you know, a bunch of hours. And then I just finished watching the entirety of my Jedi, uh, my Bloodborne playthrough. And now I started up my uh, Jedi Survivor playthrough. And for my Jedi Survivor streams, I'm already on, uh, Uh, let's see here. I'm already on... Let me see which episode I was on. I'm already on episode... I'm already uh, halfway through episode 5. And there's only 14 episodes in total. Granted, some of these have quite some time. Like, the episode I'm on right now is an hour and 49 minutes. Then the next one's two and a half. Three, three hours and 50 minutes, then two, then two and a half, then two, two, three, two, three. So, like, it's still a lot of hours, but, like, I'm on my way. Like, I'm kind of burning through these fucking playthroughs right now. It's kind of insane. Um, I already threw my bow, and I already threw my bomb. So, the only thing I don't think I've thrown, because I've thrown the ice rod, the lantern, the bug net, the almanac, the glove, the boot, the flippers... The sword. I've not thrown a potion. Fuck it. Um. I did drop it. Honestly, I'm glad you're doing good with your playthroughs. Yeah, I'm actually. I am going. I've watched tons of my playthroughs. 
And I've been posting a decent amount of my playthrough stuff as well. The only thing about posting my playthrough stuff is it takes a minute. You know, it takes me, you know, roughly 10 minutes to do a post. So, you know, that's not really that long in the grand scheme of things. But let's say, you know, I do three posts, that's 30 minutes I have to sit down and do. That ends up being, that ends up being, you know, quite a lot. Pretty quickly, and that's if I'm doing it, like, fast as fuck. But, anyways, anyways, let me see here. I'll open up the thing I was looking at real quick. Waterfalls, home be uh, Lincoln throwing a boomerang, bottle and a fighter shield. Ah, oh, I have to be an empty bottle. The pond located in the dark world. Um, okay. Yeah, so. I got you. I'd have to. So, what it's ask, what it would say is throw in an empty bottle. Actually, what am I doing? I'll just do that now. Okay, because I kind of want to see what it does. For the last flippin' time, not the bow and arrow! I don't want to throw the bow and arrow! Obviously, I don't want to use it. Holy shit! I've thrown it at her like 50 times! Oh my god, dude. Either Link does not want it, or she fucking wants it. Dude, my bow doesn't fucking work anymore is the thing. I like an honest person. I will give you something better in return. Try that poor thing off. Awesome. If you filled your bottle with the medicine of magic, you get such a potion free. It's quite a bargain. That's one way to try and get ice arrows, bro. I'm getting soggy arrows. What do you mean? hell am I at? Oh my god! I'm fucking zip-zapped all the way across the fucking map. Alright. Now for what is up here in this cave! What does the green potion do, by the way? Pond of happiness! Throw some rupees in and your wishes will surely come true. Throw a few. You can throw five rupees. Happiness increased five rupees in total. Your happiness is five. You become happier by one step. For your reference today, you will have good luck. <gasps> what does the green potion do? Isn't the green potion just heal my uh, magic? A few. I shall throw 20. Happiness increased 20 rupees in total. Your happiness is 25. You become happier by one step. Your favorite reference today will have... Good luck! Just throw all your rupees. I honestly might. I have so many fucking rupees, so. I can only throw 20 at a time, damn. Fuck. Um, so are you familiar with this game? Not really. So the funny thing is, oh shit, it's telling me different things. Uh oh. Um, I've actually so. Oh, I don't know if you're a first time uh, viewer, Brendan RGB, but I've played a Link to the Past before, but I played it when I was like five. Um, and I've beaten Link Between Worlds, but as you know, they are different games. Your favorites today will have great luck. So yeah, I really don't know what I'm doing. I've went and got the medal for, I've went and got the uh, medallion of power from the desert. I went and met Sahasafasa. Um, and I went and got the flippers. Um, the only thing I've looked up so far was the shit to give to the mysterious pond or whatever that I just found. 
which I thought was reasonable since I had already found it on accident. I was like, might as well. Because I was throwing every item in and nothing was happening, and I wanted to see if it was a reference to something. And it ended up being an upgrade pool, and I was like, oh, well. Oh. I will make your wish come true. Uh, probably more bombs, reasonably. I, I want to carry more bombs. Then I will increase your carrying ability so you can carry 15 bombs at maximum. That's just a small happiness I can give you. I'm pretty sure you got courage and wisdom, not power. No, no, I'm pretty sure I got uh, power, because power was the one in the desert. I don't know. Also, the fortune you get affects your next 10 enemy drops. Yeah, no, it's wisdom. Is it? I thought it said power for some reason. Huh. I, I definitely read that wrong earlier. Yeah, it's green and blue, which is wisdom and courage. I just could have sworn it said power. My bad. I definitely, I must have misread that earlier. Let me throw some more rupees in since I have so many. I'll see, I'm gonna throw more rupees. Fuck it. Since I was gonna be getting off here in a bit, I'm gonna throw more in. Oh damn, I can actually throw more in than usual. Happiness increased 50 rupees in total. Your happiness is 60. You became happier by one step. For your reference today, you will have good luck. Upgrade thy quiver. Are you quivering in fear? Throw a few. Big ol' fitty. Are you a big fan of Zelda? Brendan RGB? They're are marginally more useful than bombs? Damn, are they? See, the last, uh, the most recent older Zelda game that I've played would be the first Zelda game, and that game is all about the bombs. So it's like, it's funny to me to like, to hear bombs are, you know, less useful than arrows. That's kind of crazy. Like, it almost sounds like you're lying to me. I know, for reals. Alright. Let me go ahead and go... this way. Whee! Oh shit, there's a piece of heart up here. How the fuck? I get up there. Well, I have no idea. I don't need that many of them. Okay. Yeah, because I know when I know in the first Zelda game you wanted to you you wanted to use bombs a lot. Like you needed bombs for so many things, like boss fights, opening pathways, etc. So I couldn't remember how important bombs were to uh, link to the past. But yeah, to hear that they're not nearly as useful. That is definitely some helpful information. I will say, I love how they changed the sword to an actual, like, arc instead of just a, a jab. That I enjoy a lot more than the fucking, the stupid jab shit from the first game. The jab from the first game was near unusable. Are we changing something else after this, or just getting off for the night? Um, I don't know. With it being 3 a.m., I actually don't know. Because I already streamed this longer than I thought I was going to. Um, if I do stream something, it will be a multiplayer game. Which will probably make it be uh, either Helldivers 2 or Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Something, something simple I don't really need to think too hard about. Or I might take this extra time and just kind of like, you know, lay down. Like, you know, I've, uh... Or I might do my workouts, or I might go cook my spaghetti so I don't have to cook it tomorrow when I wake up. There's there's a bunch of stuff I could do. But I didn't want to go tonight without streaming. I've been kind of getting to the point where it's like, no matter how I feel, I kind of want to stream at least once every night when I get home. Even if it is not for as long as I could, I still want to do it for, you know, a certain amount of time regardless. First Zelda had to drop more bombs. The uh, pair Izzy was silenced before the he could finish the joke. <laughs> um, which uh, Zelda games have you played, uh, Brendan RGB? 
to call somebody and ask them what the fuck that means. <laughs> okay. Alright. So you've played this one, Link's Awakening, Oracle of Ages, and Seasons. Those are good. You've played a lot. Of you've played pretty much nothing but good Zelda games. Have you played any of the more uh, modern Zelda, ga Zelda games? Honestly, I tried playing the N64 games, so I couldn't get into them. And that's fair. That's that's entirely fair, Brendan. Um, I personally like Link to the Past a lot more than the uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time. Even though that's not to say I hate Ocarina of Time or anything. I love Ocarina of Time. Um, I like Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask quite a lot. But I think Link to the Past is uh, better, in my personal opinion. Um, of course, my favorites are going to be you know, uh, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Le Mine's a good mixed bag. I, I like, there's not really a specific Zelda formula that's my favorite. There's just certain games that really stand out in my eyes. That stand out as being really, really fantastic. And those are kind of the main games that I really like pick and say like, man, this one is good. Like really, really good. Sorry, I had something said to me in Spanish, of all things, and I was like, I was like, I don't know what a padre is. Um, honestly, I, uh, there are no bad Zelda games. My, my wife's parents had a Switch, so I played some Breath, Breath of the uh, Wild. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, hold up, hold up. No! I'm getting surrounded. Oh my lord. Hold up. <laughs> okay, well, regardless, sorry about that guys, my stream just crashed out of nowhere. Um, that that was very strange. I don't understand why it would have crashed. <laughs> right. I'm having a very strange night, I guess. Regardless, um, sorry about that. My uh, my stream did crash. I was about to get off, but I will uh, go ahead and probably do one more thing. Um. I will probably do one more small thing before I get off. I don't really know exactly what I want to do, but I don't know. Climb Death Mountain? The end stream? I don't know. I'm pretty tired. I probably won't do that. I'll probably save that to next time. Um, let's see here. Cause I like to have, I like to actually have energy whenever I do these story playthroughs. That is so weird though. I'm kind of concerned because my, my lap, that's the second time my laptop has crashed within a short period of time, like very short period of time. And I can't have my laptop crashing one after another like that. So that's, that's kind of worrisome in my opinion, but so I'll probably try to get that looked at and see like what, what that's doing. Like maybe I have too much open at one time, so it can't handle it. Maybe, but I don't think I had that much open. Not that I know of. It should just be the normal stuff that it normally runs, so I don't know. If my laptop could just be having a really hard day, 
My laptop is old, after all. It is from, uh... It's, it's, a, it's a couple years old now. Like, I got this laptop in, I think, 2020? That's a four-year-old laptop. He's trying his best. I'll probably... I might see if I can open him up and look inside for a minute or whatever, but for now, I'll probably chillax with that. Um, so, I mean, my laptop has issues. That means I my stream has issues. And if that ever happens, I'm buying a laptop, like, the day of. And I'll just have to pay it off slowly, but eventually. And trust me, I don't want to have to do that, because this laptop costed me, uh, let's see here. Let me go, let me go back and s let's see how much, if I were to buy that laptop right now, how much that bitch would cost. Bro, what the fuck? Amazon? I believe the one I have right now. Whoops, I need to do Acer Gaming Laptop. Hold up. Yeah, if I were to buy the one right now, this bitch would be stupid expensive. I think it's about 1000 fucking dollars. Let's see, where is that? I'll put Acer Nitro 5. What does that say? Does that say all the same stuff that this one has? Maybe. I mean, it looks familiar. That one also looks familiar. Here, actually, why don't I just go to my, uh, laptop. There we go. Yeah, the laptop I'm on right now is 850 fucking dollars. <laughs> Which is, I mean, thankfully cheaper than the thousand that it was when I bought it. So it's went down. But it's not like the bitch is cheap by any means. Yeah. But, like I said, I think the big thing is I think I just stressed my laptop out too much. I know that at one point, I just had too much on my laptop, uh, like too much memory being stored on my laptop, so that was overusing it. And I think right now, the main thing I need to do with my laptop is I need to open it up and probably, like, clean the fans in it or something like that. More than likely, because, like, let me see here. How hot is my laptop right now? Um, let me see here. How hot is bad for a laptop? Yeah, so like my laptop right now is running at 64 Celsius. Yeah, so I should be good, but I will say this though, the big issue that I probably have with my CPU for my laptop is that I didn't, uh, what is it? I never checked its temperature or anything the entire time I had it until the recent, like, last year that I've owned it is when I started checking the temperature. Because mind you, this is the first computer I've ever owned. I've never owned a computer for my gaming laptop. So what I'll probably do at some point is I'll buy another one. I will buy another gaming laptop. And I'll probably have one for streaming, which will be the newer one. And that one I will have highly monitored and highly fucking everything. And then I'll have another one. But I'll need a fucking bigger desk at that point. Or I'll have to do something, just leave the other one unplugged or whatever. Most of the time, we'll see. Wait, no, closer to one decade. Because I know laptops can last a long time. They can. They just, uh... 
You know what, Izzy? I might climb Death Mountain for the stream. Why not? We'll do that. Fuck it. I'm still up and I'm still playing the game. I might as well do something. And I was wanting to talk to you guys and uh, talk to Brent. I was wanting to talk to both of you guys, so let me, uh, the hell? The hell? Let me just spawn money, I guess. I think I missed a comment. I might have missed a comment. Um, let me go back up. My wife's parents had a Switch, so I played some Breath of the Wild. I couldn't get into Skyward Sword either. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I won't say I'll climb all of Death Mountain, but I'll climb some of it, at least. I'll explore it. Um, I did miss your comment. Um, yeah, I actually, uh, what kept you from getting into, um, Skyward Sword, if you don't mind me asking? Like, what, what was really stopping you from enjoying Skyward Sword, uh, Brendan RB, RGB? Because, uh, I actually really like Skyward Sword, but I can understand, I, but I know there are a bunch of things about it that people would probably dislike. I just didn't vibe with it. And see, that's totally fine. Like, I know one reason a lot of people didn't like Skyward Sword was because of the controls. And I've told people before that that makes sense. I love the controls, but that's also because I stood up and, and was really into THAT'S WHAT I'M TALKING ABOUT! THAT'S WHY HE'S DOING IT ME! THAT'S WHY HE'S THE GOAT! I don't know who goat. you are, but if you were going the up goat. Down, uh, will you take me with you? I lost my lamp, so... Okay, Mr. Old Man. MR. OLD MAN! I got my PC uh, for my bankrupt employer instead of the paycheck. It's probably about a decade old at this point. Okay, so yeah, you've had your PC for a very long time. Oh, uh, watch your step. There are holes in the ground. Could you turn right here? Young man, are you also going to the mountain to look for the golden power? Just ahead is a mountain full of monsters. Many people have vanished in this mountain while looking for the golden power. I don't want to steer you wrong, so please don't get too involved in such a mad quest. Uh, no, 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 no. no, I could also see, like, some people don't like the story focused. Uh, there must be a heart in that bottle. But yeah, I know there's a lot of people that don't really vibe with the, uh, more, um, story focused vibe of, uh, Skyward Sword, so I can understand that. Uh, turn right here. You know, I have a granddaughter who is your age. The king took her to the castle and she never returned. Kidnapping those maidens must be part of the wizard's plot! I'm sure he is trying to somehow use the power of the descendants of the wise men. Oh my god. Oh, so many fucking bats. Sacrifice the old man to the monsters. The old man seems sketchy, but he's legit. You can't enter with, with something following you. God damn it. Fuck you, old man! Fuck you, old man! Fuck you, old man! Missing maidens are still alive somewhere. I believe a hero will rescue them. I wait for that day. Uh, these are dangerous times. I've talked too much. Anyway, thank you for the kindness to an old man like me. I want to give you this. If you wander into a magical transporter, gaze into this mirror. Oh, shit. You give me the magic mirror? Oh, my God. You feel like it's going to absorb you into another world. Back into here. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right. I'm not very good at older Zelda games, by the way. What the hell? What the hell is this? Where the hell am I right now? Yeah, you die quick as fuck in these older Zelda games. It takes no time at all. Also heals you if you walk, talk to him again. Yeah, I will have to go talk to him again because I just fucking died instantaneously. Old man saved my ass. He really did. He really did. Boulders! The boulders! No, not the boulders! Boulders Gate 3! Get out the way. Alright. The wizard has deceived the king, and now he is trying to open the way to the dark world. To complete your quest, you will need the moon pearl, which is the tower at the top of the mountain. All I can do for you now is to comfort your weariness. Come back here anytime. 
Aw, oh, thank you, old man. Thank you, old man. You're best old man. Mr. Old Man is my favorite character. We all love ourselves, Mr. Old Man. Mr. Old Man is indeed legit. The falling cabbages are indeed a threat. You're telling me, dude. I cannot avoid them at all. Okay, so that's... So I think I've already... What's this way? Nope, oh, okay. Cool. Um, you know what? I think the old man might be a good stopping point. Or I might see if I can use the mirror once before I leave. I don't know. I mostly want to get back on stream so I could do an outro and everything before I got offline. Because I felt bad having my stream crash right as I was supposed to be fucking streaming. So it just is fucking annoying. But that's not the point. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. They re you know what? Now that you said cabbages, they do look like cabbages. Bro, no way they hit me. No way they hit me! So effortlessly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, not here. Anywhere but here. Whoa. Not there. Also, I'm pretty sure it takes me to the... Yeah, chat, I am tired. Okay, that proves it. That proves it. I am way too tired to be playing this game tonight. Holy shit. Oh my god. I am playing like ass. I'm playing really bad. I mean, I know I was tired, but this is ridiculous. Uh, create suspend point, just in case I fuck up the save somehow. Yes, there we go. Holy fuck, dude. Okay, yeah, if I do get back online, it's gonna be a multiplayer game. <laughs> He's pulling his cock out! Like I said, I'm playing like ass, but I don't think I'll be getting back online. I think I'll probably rest, um, so I can, uh, be really energetic for tomorrow. Since I'm so tired. Uh, apparently. Apparently. Uh, I guess I'm really tired. I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably go do my workouts and rest my voice and stuff. I think I've been doing a lot of streaming recently. I think I've been keeping up with it. Regardless, my laptop also crashed twice, so my laptop really doesn't feel like being turned on today either, apparently. So, whatever. Um, Yeah, tomorrow is the Final Fantasy VII stream, and I will be starting as soon as I can. I will probably wake up, take my shower make spaghetti, do my hair, do my makeup, get on stream. So that'll be more than likely what I'm doing. I might go to the mall beforehand too, but the latest I will be starting tomorrow is probably 8 p.m. I'm going to be trying to start around 5 or 6 or 7. But, you know, if I can't, I can't. But I want to start as soon as possible. Um, but regardless, I didn't get to talk to you, talk to you for ter terribly long, uh, Brendan RGB, but I did enjoy talking to you. Um, I love, uh, honestly, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Link to the Past, even though I've played not like that much of it. Um, I see its worth and I've played, like I said, I've, oh, you know what? I should ask that before I get off. Uh, Brendan RGB, have you played a Link Between Worlds on a 3DS? Have you played that game? Cause that one's really, really good. Really good. I highly recommend that one. Very much so. That one's a fantastic game. Um, and if you've not played that, uh, I think you should. Especially if you're a fan of Link to the Past, I think you might like it. I think you might like it. Oof, goodness. I love that. I'm flashing my fucking... Oh wow, apparently the uh, the emulators don't even tell you, like, how long you played of each game, they tell you how long you played of that emulator. Nice. Then Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, 150 hours, 190... Dude, it took me t Fuck. When I go to watch my playthrough of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, it's gonna be 200 hours. That's scary. That's scary. No, mo no scarier than my Three Houses playthroughs, 405 hours. Alright. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going
regardless, I see you might have already gotten off for the night since you're not, uh... Safe yeah! enough. Yeah! Regardless, either way, I had a fun time. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna go chillax and lay down. I might try to do... I might do a couple ab workouts. I want to keep up with that. Um, we'll see. Uh, for now. It sucks, man. I, lo I look super nice today, too. I went out and did all this makeup and everything, and I'm that tired. Like, I got this, and I got this, and I got this. But, yeah. I might do some makeup like this tomorrow, just because I, r I really like this design. It didn't take me long, and it looks good. It looks really good, especially the stuff on my eyes. I really like it, so I'll probably do that again tomorrow. Fuck it. It's, it's, it's a design I very much like. Yeah, for now. Have a lovely night. And as always, later, losers! And of course, I was talking about myself. I get no bitches. No bitches, question mark?